Hi friends, Matt Dog 2012 here, uh, coming at you with a series um, tutorial, and this is how to pack wars. Now I did, uh, I did something I probably shouldn't have, but I cracked the land pack from uh, from the fat pack that I had, and I looked, and you know, there's a there's a full art swamp right there. Um, I've got you know, some stuff that I will use in a second, um, but there actually is it includes a lot of full art lands, so maybe I shouldn't have done that. Uh, and and save the lands for for later and to sell off um, as a as a bundle. But um, if you buy a fat pack and it it has this full art swamp in front, uh, you might want to hold on to that and not play with some of these full art lands. Um, they they look really cool and uh, they do go up in value. I don't know about this set because we've had so many full art lands come out. But when it was full art Zendikar lands, um, those are definitely going some of them for a pretty penny. So, um, like I said before, this is how to pack war. So what is pack war? So let's say that you and a buddy are, are waiting for a tournament to start. You're at your local magic shop and you don't know what to do. You have maybe 10 bucks extra uh, to, to play something and, and you're just bored. What you want to do is buy, yeah, buy three packs. Let's just say you, you you each will have a pack and then you have a pack for prize pool because might as well make it worth it, worth your while. Each of you is going to get um, five of each of the basic lands. Shuffle them up pretty good because you're gonna, you're gonna use them in a second. Open up the pack, but make sure that, uh, that you don't look at uh, the cards. Get rid of this and then anything else that doesn't have a magic background on it. Shuffle. And the, the point of this is to have, uh, you're going to have the, the 10 lands in there. Um, you're going to have the 15, 15 or so cards. Hopefully you get a foil in there or an invocation or something cool. Uh, maybe you can sleeve them up if you want, but this is meant to be just a really fun format to waste some time uh, with, with you and your friends uh, while you're waiting to do something else. And the point of putting in two of each of the uh, basic lands is because, one, you don't know what you have, and this kind of ensures that you can almost play about anything in there. And two, I mean, you wouldn't be able to play <laughs> if you didn't throw any lands in there. So um, you're just really quickly throwing in some lands, shuffling up, and then playing a game of magic. So let's take a look and see what we, what we get in our opening hand. Four, five, six, seven. So... Right away, I mean, we can see um, that this is not a great hand, um, so I'm probably, I'm going to mulligan uh, for sure, but I got to see some of my cards, um, which is helpful. Uh, you know, it gives me a little bit of an advantage to see that, oh, I do have a lot of red and black in that opening hand. Um, two, three, four, five, six, mulligan down to six. Let's see what we get. That's a little better when it comes to... Um, you know, our, our land options. Um, but you can see, uh, you know, it's just something something to do. Uh, so I can play, if I'm going first, I can play a forest first turn, next turn comes along. Uh, oh, wow. Um, throwing out a planes, tapping two, bringing out the feral prowler, um, so forth, so on. Uh, let's see what, what rare we got. So in a nutshell, I mean, that's that's how to play Pack Wars. Um, it's, it's usually pretty good if you uh, have the same uh, two packs out of the same set. That way no one has any sort of um, advantage over the other right away. Um, and then you just play, give each other 20 life like usual. It doesn't take that long. You can do this if you buy a booster box. You can do this 18 times if you feel like, if you're just bored. Or do it less and have prizes for each time. Um, but it's, it's a really fun thing to do if you have just a little bit of time and nothing else to do. So did I get... A, so our rare is Hostile Desert. So you're adding a colorless, colorless waste to your mana pool, or for two, you're exiling a land card from your graveyard. It becomes a 3-4 elemental creature until end of turn and still a land. This is super. Um, I'm exiling a card from my graveyard that I don't care about. This guy is becoming a creature and then hitting someone in the face for three and then turning back into a land and... That is cool. So um, what do you guys think? Hopefully this, this may have uh, given you some other options on what to do if you're bored. Um, if you uh, have any comments, leave them in the comments section down below or subscribe for more content, and I will talk to you later.